Home Thursdays, brought to you by the sponsors of MomsEveryday.com. Have you ever wondered how to get your family outdoors rather than just looking at it from the bay window? Bob Henriksen is here from the Nebraska Statewide Arboretum to talk about helping your family enjoy the landscape. And nice to see you today, Bob. Nice to see you. Boy, it smells great in here. Thank you for all these plants. Oh, I had to bring lilacs in. You know, come on. Even though it's a little early for lilacs, but hey, it, we'll, we'll take it, right? Yeah. Oh, I love the smell. And you did bring some plants here mm -hmm. that families can enjoy mm -hmm. putting in their their yards. Right. And a lot of them do have that great smell, even if you rub the leaves here. Right. I think that's, yeah. you know, a number one with, with, with both adults and kids is, is plants that either smell good, plants that I can harvest something from. Um, plants that are easy to grow and and we have great garden centers out there that get people great information on on good plants to grow for for not only benefiting yourself but benefiting wildlife mm -hmm. and you know I think if we just shut off the air conditioner a lot more kids would be outside right you know I think we all know that so I think shade trees are important too oftentimes we do, we think of planting trees we often think I want something ornamental or I want something very floriferous mm -hmm. and, and not a big tree because we, we often get scared of big trees but we need shade trees continue to be planted in Lincoln and around surrounding communities in Nebraska because we're the home of Arbor Day after all. Oh well, yeah. So so creating uh, shaded areas for kids is very important otherwise they're not going to want to go outside. It's going to be hot mm -hmm. out there you know in the summertime. Well, so I grew up on a farm. We didn't have air conditioning but we did have lots of trees so lots you're right. Trees. You're right. right. We spent a lot of time outside. That's part of it. Without that forget it. You're not going to get them outside. And then I think a second part is you know vegetable gardening right now is, is is very big you know with a lot of families and getting to eat healthy and whatnot and it's a very easy thing to do you can get together with neighbors and it's a great way to get to know your neighbors and you that's may, what you did here yeah that's what we've done and you know my neighbor and I share space on his rental property and and we have three or four different groups of kids that come by and help us plant the bean seeds harvest whatever it may be and do that another thing is to think about you know just outdoor camping you know you can camp in your backyard you can take kids to natural areas and there's lots of great parks in Lincoln that mm -hmm. focus on nature mm -hmm. um, not just mode parks that we can play frisbee or football right. in but areas like you know like Pioneers Park for example or Spring Creek Prairie right. take your kids to those let them climb on trees and, and learn about those things and real quickly we have about 30 seconds mm -hmm. left I know many of us grew up on farms we live in cities now we need little mm -hmm. spaces of land right. to have gardens and you right. can you can even put them in pots and you've got some great options here oh yeah lots of options you know and again herbs you know but thinking of herbs like this herb here is is a native one this is called mountain mint it's a mm -hmm. native perennial that will come back year after year but the the good thing is um, gardening is not just mm -hmm. about um, you know beautiful colors in the landscape it's important because now a lot of us are living in cities to create nature in those cities because it's it's you know more and more of us are moving to cities so it's up to us yep. to to create nature in within the city okay well thank you Bob. we could talk more on this forever couldn't oh. we for hours. We'll have to have you come back. <laughs> we sure will. <laughs> Thank you for all that information. And if you'd like to know more on getting your family outside, log on to MomsEveryday.com, find the Homes button, and then click on the Nebraska State Arboretum page. Moms Every Day, weekdays at 8.55 a.m. is brought to you by the sponsors of MomsEveryday.com.